Okay, welcome to chapter three. We're now on unit three of eight units, so we're moving through it quickly. So our first thing is fractions. We're going to multiply using models, just like we mul we added and sorry, multiplied and divide using uh, integers using models. So basically, I want you to write three times five as repeated addition. Remember, the multiplication is just fast fast addition. So three times five would mean that I have three groups of five. There we go, three groups of five. All right, now if we extend that into fractions, four times a third means I have four one-thirds or four groups of one-third. All right, now count up how many thirds you have. Four thirds there, isn't there? Now, how do you write four thirds as a fraction? Okay, so we can say that four times a third equals four thirds. Now you'll probably see as we go through this some shortcuts. Don't take them. This is using repeated addition. That's method one. Let's look at method two. This is using pictures. Okay. Now, if I want to have four times a third, I need to make four pictures of a third. My advice is to stay away from circles that get too complicated. Use long boxes. Make sure the boxes are the same length. So here's my first box right here, and it is divided into three groups. And I have one shaded. So there's one third. Right here, one third, one third, one third. Now, count up how many thirds that you have. You have one, two, three, four thirds. So to draw this, this means that four groups of one third, when you draw a picture, is still four thirds. That's the second method. The third method is using a modified grid program. So what you do is you take and draw a box and you shade rows, you shade one, one out of three rows. That's what the one-third stands for. And here, you put in four columns. Okay. Now, count how many thirds you have. One, two, three, four. So your answer is four thirds. Okay. So, there's an, let's take a look at our next next question. Turn the page. Okay, so this one is now seven times a quarter. As repeated addition, you're going to take and make seven groups of one quarter. So we're going to have one quarter plus one quarter plus one quarter plus one quarter plus one quarter. So that's one, two, three, four, five. Six. There is seven one quarters. So that means I have seven of them, and we're working in quarters. As a picture, I need to have seven groups of one quarter. So this becomes a bit more of a pain in the butt to draw. But here is my first group, right? And I need one quarter. Here is my second group. Remember, they have to be the same size. And here's my third group, fourth group. My fifth group, slide this up a bit, my sixth group, and my seventh group. Again, remember everything's in quarters. And this is easier than circles. Okay, now these are all quarters, so they're all shaded. So I have seven groups of one quarter drawn there. Well, how many quarters do I have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that means I have seven quarters. Okay, as a grid, we can draw a box. And I want to have one out of four rows shaded. Okay, so here's one row shaded. I need seven columns. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. How many sex? How many do I have? Well, you can take and count them. I've got one, two, three, 
four, five, six, seven. So how many quarter how many quarters do I have? I have seven of them. So seven quarters. How do you draw that as a fraction? Seven over four. Okay, so the grid method is probably the easiest way to go. Maybe the addition method will work for you. Now the textbook has another one, and actually I taught you this in grade four. Okay, it's called a fraction of a whole number, and it's actually really easy. Two thirds of twenty-one, and if you remember, we're going to make three groups. We're going to count two of them, and we're going to put in twenty-one counters. So let's take twenty-one counters, put them in three groups, and you can see that's what's been done right here. Here's group one, group two, and group three. And the question is, can two of these three groups is what? So count two of the three groups. Well, one third is seven, so two thirds is. 14. So 2 thirds of 21 is 14. And again, that goes way back to grade 4. All right, let's have you do some drawing here. This is the first one. 4 fifths of 15. Draw the 15 objects, please. And then I want you to do into five equal groups. So let's take a look at how we do this. I've got to draw 15 objects. Now, I think what I'll have you do is rather than just drawing the 15 objects here, because I can draw the 15 objects a lot quicker than you can, right? So this is what it would look like. I think I got 15 here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. One too many. Okay? So there's 15 objects. All right? Now what you can do with this is you could probably just do little tiny circles, because you're not really working with integers here. All right? It's just counters. Now put them into five equal groups. Well, if you put these into five equal groups, start grouping up with one, two, three. I'm going to drag these. So there's one group, there's two groups, three groups, four groups, five groups. Okay, now put this into this one and this one. Start to see how this works. Here's five groups there. And again, this is just like we did in grade four. Okay, I've got five groups, 15 things in five different groups. And now I want to count four of the five groups. Well, four of the five groups are right here. So how many is in four of the five groups? Three, six, nine, twelve. So four fifths times fifteen is twelve. All right? Now, what is one fifth times ten? Now, you can do this one by uh, using. Uh, same process. You're going to count one group of the five. You want to take the ten things and you want to put them in five equal groups. So I'll give you a second to do this. So do this while, while I'm in pause the recording. All right. So you're going to have ten things in five equal groups. I'll show you a, a shortcut. Put the groups in as you count them. So you go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. See that? That becomes, here's your five groups. Now, there's ten things in them. I want to count one of the five groups. Right there. So counting one of the five groups means my answer is two. So one-fifth times ten is two. Again, if you have any trouble, go over these by rewinding and doing it again and again and again. All right, grid method. Four times two-thirds. So... I'm going to draw boxes which are shaded two out of three on my grid. So I have need two out of three columns shaded. So there's the first column, and there's the second column. Now you notice there's two out of three rows, and I need to have four of them, right? So there's one, two, three, four. So the question now is, how many of these are actually shaded? And remember, we're talking about a third. Each box is a third. So I've got one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. So I have eight thirds. Now how do you make eight thirds into a fraction? Well, eight thirds. There you go. Okay, so counting the number of thirds, the question is eight. Okay, so it's eight thirds. Okay, you want you to try three fifths of six, please.
right? The first thing we need to do is make three rows of five. Oh, sorry, uh, sorry, five rows, because I want to count three of them. Okay, so there's one row, two rows, three rows, four rows, five rows, okay? So I need to, to shade in three of them. So there's one, two, three. Okay, so I got three out of five. So there's your three out of the five right there. Three rows of five. Now, the top is six. So we have to divide these into six. Okay? One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay? Now, we're working in fifths. Remember, because this is three fifths. So how many fifths do I have? So you can count them up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. So we have eighteen fifths. Oh gosh. Doing really good in the spelling today, aren't I? Okay, now how do I turn 18 fifths into a fraction? 18 fifths. There you go. So there's your grid method. So we've done three methods now. Repeated addition, right up here. And you've got some good examples here. There's repeated addition, there's pictures, and there's your grid. The three different methods. So if you have any questions, go over this and watch it again. And you can work on your assignment. And we will see you in the next lesson.